Hello, hello, guys. Uh, here we have a Dell Inspiron 3521. It's turning on, but we have nothing on the screen, okay? Meaning it's not booting up. Why I'm so sure? Because the fan, you see the fan? Normally, on a laptop, it's working fine, everything is fine. When you press the power button, it will turn on, you will get a light somewhere, somewhere. I think it's on the other side of the board, and the fan will spin and then stop. And the PC will boot, you will see it there, welcome, while the fan is it, uh, it's off, it's not running. But in this case, the moment you press the power button, Fan spins one way, one way, one way, one way, one way, one way. I was gonna blame uh, BIOS, but I don't think uh, the default here is the BIOS. I don't think that the problem here is the BIOS. Let me check the BIOS. I wanna see something. Uh, I don't think the problem here is the BIOS. Behaving more like a BIOS, but to confirm. Let's check it let's turn it on and then see and then take some measurements everywhere step by step this is very 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 important just stay tuned and watch and listen carefully have a charger here connect the charger okay it's turning on you can see a light in there the fan is spinning one way so now what do we do very 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 easy let's check our 5 volts change your meter 20 volts one pop to ground okay let me put a uh, ground to ground start here from the 19 and we do get a 19 volt 19 volt is sharp you move on uh what else the 3.3 .3 and the 5 volts 3.3 volts it's there you can see what about the 5 volts 5 volts as well there it, as you can see so what we do is you, you, you find control f to find pl200 pl200 is where i was taking uh, to in the 3 volts okay there we are this pl200 Okay, it's written here 3.3 volts always. You should, you should get 3.3 volts. Okay, meaning even if when you connect the charger without pressing the power button, you should 3.3 volts. And I knew that they were 3.3 because I pressed the power button. The power button is 3.3. So if this 3.3 volts is missing, the power button will have 0 volts. But 5 volts, 5 volts as well. See, 5 volts always. It check it was there on a PL201. Okay, I did a video explaining PL what a PL what a those signs mean. Watch that video, you understand everything. Anyway, let's continue. Okay, so now we are done. Okay, the machine is off. I turned it off. Move the charger. It was spinning one way, one way. So I removed the charger. Let's continue. So now we do we have 3.3. We have 5 volts we have 19 volts okay those those volts are important for a machine to power on right but for a display what do we need a display we need ram ram volts very 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 important where do we get uh m voltage easy we can type vtt call the vtt okay those are mosfet this is pl 300 can see those are two mosfets i was telling you and here with b plus it's in volts so this chip here takes the uh it controls those two mosfets to turn on and off in order to create 1.5 volts for for a ram don't have this volts in the pc you have to press the power button first you know to get this 1.5 and uh, let's check if we do get 1.5 volts or or not now let's check pl200 where is pl200 
I mean PL300 I mean there it says we should get 1.5 And we are getting zero votes, guys. Let's check on top of the RAM. It is a capacitor there on, uh, on top of the RAM. And I'm getting zero votes. PL300. It's zero votes. Zero, 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 zero votes. Okay, don't panic. Remove the charger. Now, we're gonna check for shorts okay uh here we are let's check for shots this is pl300 now you can see clearly pl300 uh, inductor so what you do we need to check for for shots for shots in there one prop to ground and then you touch it there okay, sorry you need to change your meter continuity and pop to down and we check there we have a short and it's a straight shot almost straight to down yep you can see we have a short there uh let me go okay there it is i was uh, i was checking here on the l300 let me zoom in so that you can see and why I was checking for shorts there on PL300. Can someone tell why? Because PL300, the output, okay? This is the output going straight to ORM. So, it's a short there. It's a short. Okay? It's either the short coming from, from these things. Either this capacitor here, it's shorted, of which I don't think it's shorted. It's very, very, very rare. Uh, or see that this one and this can't be this one because there is a resistor here so obvious it's it 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 it, 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 it won't be possible for us to get i um, mean a short this close to to ground it's uh, it's impossible because of this resistor here right let's move on so obvious it's, it's not this as well the problem might be here it's either uh this MOSFETs are uh, shorted both of them but let me give you a straightforward answer we can't really blame EQ300 this one it can't be this one this one is connected to 19 volt and there's nothing wrong with our 19 volt. I don't think short is coming from PQ300 it can't be short it's coming from the PQ301 or it's coming from the capacitors here or it's coming from the chip itself otherwise it's coming from from another power rail but that is connected with 1.5 volts or or rem but anyway i'm gonna start here this mosfet pq301 let's go ahead let's check pq301 okay this is P pq300 and it's not this i can check and confirm it's not this okay and 19 volts there's no short but here obviously oh, yes. it was someone 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 not it okay we have pq300 now let's check for pq301 check the chip make it simply let's remove pq the old one okay pq 301 is out there he is rotate okay, him okay pq 301 is not not shorted but I'm gonna change it because the value is so so low. But it's not shorted, it's not the cause. Okay, so now so what do we do? We go back there. Let's check again. 
this is pq pure one out uh but anyway he's not the cause let's check check for a shot again still we have a shot what if the shot is coming from the ram remove the ram let's check again still there is a shot and uh can't be the 300 i told you it can't be pq 300 okay so now uh, what do we do let's inject some volts in there and see what is getting hot or oh, otherwise what i can do is it's very 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 simple uh let's remove the chip i don't want to inject uh the thing there let's remove pu 300 and Okay, now let's check again we have removed the chip there on the other side uh, let me show you on the schematic what did i do okay there we are we removed pq301 because this might be the cause but still shorts was still there short is still there uh, so what i did was i removed the chip itself pu300 so now we have to check but it's still there or or not okay one up to ground and then you touch it there there's no shots anymore the shots coming from there from the chip itself the, the chip Okay guys since now i'm done with the chip replacement uh let's check for shorts now you'll remember where to check for shorts i was checking the shorts here sorry i changed my multimeter too okay good there it moved okay then you check here there's no shorts anymore and again let's change the meter 20 volts and connect a charger after that we'll check how many volts we are getting here we should be getting uh 1.5 automatic right and point what place these things that's uh, back where they are where they are the way i'm okay? and remember again i checked this it would do Okay, what was gone now? Keep it, keep now. Let's go. Okay, let's check. Connect your charger, charger is connected now. What you do is you try, but shorting. I mean, when it's spinning, check there, we should be getting 